All right, y'all, today is June 21st, and uh, I think we're going to finally get around to planting uh, some more beans and possibly transplanting these sweet potato slips. Let me set my little bucket down. That's my water I need to uh, keep the, uh, the roots of the sweet potato slips hydrated. Before I do any work in this garden, I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to show you guys what she's looking like today. Oh, uh, let me see. We're about what? Eight, nine, ten, maybe ten, eleven weeks. Probably about eleven weeks in. Since uh majority of this stuff was planted. Uh this is how we're looking on cucumbers. So look, we was very successful this year on cucumbers, right? Very big cucumber it's about uh three maybe about six inches long very thick very thick and i uh, notice i did not use a uh i can't even remember the name of things uh trench no not trench a uh a trellis i'm sorry yeah a trellis you know to uh you know prop the uh cucumber vines up you know so they'll be off the ground but uh you don't have to see i'm looking pretty good with these cucumbers this one all deformed maybe to straighten out look at that one <laughs> round got one here small one small ones everywhere yo small cucumbers all over the place so we did way better this year than last year oh, there's another one right there that's big. That one is about five inches. Pretty thick too. Uh, what else we have? I know I got some big ones on the other side over there. The foliage on the cucumbers and the and the uh, cantaloupe look very similar, so it's kind of hard to tell uh, which is which. I think the cantaloupe is the only thing that <clears throat> we haven't gotten a yield out of yet. I'll show y'all the rest of the cucumbers on this side. Got about two or three of them on this side. It's pretty big also. Anyway, this is the watermelon here. All right, so we got sweet baby watermelon. See, already very dark, but those watermelons are dark. There's another one there, that's two. That's uh, three. Okay. Pretty sure we got some more in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a couple of guys right there beside each other. All right, there are one and two. One and two. Get them on top of this cardboard. I want to go in under the cardboard. Like I said, this uh, cantaloupe really hasn't started getting any yield as of yet. We got some nice bees flying around here. So we'll go ahead and track that pollen. All right, so now we're back to the cucumbers. Uh, like I said, we had about, what, two or three over this side over there. On this side, we have uh, another two or three. That's a smaller one right there. That one here. Now, they're very tight. They're very tight, you know, which they feel full. They feel full. As far as the color, uh, I guess uh, we just have to deal with this color here. Okay, or maybe as it sit longer to get darker, you know, we'll see. A couple of small ones back over there again. This is the area I think I'm going to be planting uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, it's nice and still soft dirt. Okay. Uh, now look at those uh, vines, right? That long vine that you're seeing right there, 
there's uh I think I see some growing over there. So anyway, that, that long vine is a, uh, a spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash vine. So I brought my cardboard in to keep the grass down. Because <laughs> it's kind of hard to mow in this area here. Well, we have some yellow leaves over here. Not quite sure what that's about. Besides the one on the ground, I know that they're they were damp, so that's the reason why they look like that. Here's the largest squash right here. Oh, right there. Uh, we're looking at about five to six inches. It's nice and dark and yellow. Uh, we have uh, a few more up in here. That's a lot smaller, like this guy here. All right, a couple of there that's growing. Okay, so we are doing much better this year here than we did last year, and of course I knew we would because we started earlier, and then the dirt or the soil is a whole lot healthier this year than it was last year. Okay. All right. So we got a few of them, a cluster of them right up. Get the leaf out the way. Way up in there. Got a cluster of them, right? So we got some squash coming, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as far as this uh, spaghetti squash, kind of vine out like watermelon, and uh, we don't have anything yet, but. Give it a little longer, I'm pretty sure we have something. But uh, let's take a look right over here with this spaghetti squash. I said I've seen something growing, possibly. Okay, right there. I don't know. Is that a little spaghetti squash starting to grow? Look at these uh, leaves. I mean leaves. These uh, charred. Much bigger this year than it was last year. Much taller. Still growing. Now I think I still am going to. I don't know. I kind of want to come fill it in some more. But as I look at this. This is a lot of chart. Uh, and we're a small family. We're only four people. And uh, of course my son. He don't eat this stuff. So he's back home for the time being. Um. Uh, but he don't eat uh he don't eat much greens, you know, so he don't eat chard, he don't eat kale, he don't eat sweet potatoes, <laughs> he don't eat watermelon, he don't eat, you know, cucumbers, he don't eat uh uh cantaloupe, don't eat squash. The only thing this whole garden my son actually eat is green beans and white potatoes. Okay, and speaking of the white potatoes, I can see these vines are starting to die out. See that? The foliage is starting to die. Vine, vines are starting to turn color. Okay, they're not standing up anymore. They dropped. So, that means that these potatoes is about ready to be uh, uprooted from the ground. But uh, at this point, I think, I don't know, I think it's maybe... 30 days from this point so I'm going to say 3 or 4 weeks about another 3 or 4 weeks we'll be pulling that stuff out <laughs> these beans it's time for me to go ahead and pluck these beans today because uh, these suckers are huge and the bigger they are the tougher they are ok we don't want tough beans so I'll go ahead and get that taken care of today so I'll probably go ahead and get some beans today, some char today, and some nice, pretty, huge, yeah, big, <laughs> some uh, Russian red kale. These are some huge leaves here, right? Okay. Larger here than they are on the other sides.
I think that may be because the the cluster we have here. I think there may be enough, but I don't know. Uh, I could just plant some, just be planting. You know, just to make the garden look more fuller. Here I came out early and started, you know what I'm saying, amending this dirt here. Because I thought about putting the sweet potatoes over here. But, as I thought about them, like sweet potatoes vine out a lot. I do want the soil to be moist. I mean the sweet potatoes slips to stay moist. And this is the most moist area in the whole garden. Okay, this back side. But as I thought about it, I'm like, wait a minute. Sweet potatoes, sweet potato vines may grow this direction and get all up inside of the uh, the kill here. See, so that may make it kind of difficult. So I'll probably put it on that side there while the rest of the vine, you know, uh, plants are. So the viney plants. Anyway, so, uh, okay, let's take a look on this side. At these beans, so you take a good, clear look at how big they are. See that? That's the regular, regular size there. But when you look at these things over here, man, these suckers are huge. Right, Chanda? Right, Chanda. <laughs> okay. They're big. A lot of them over there. So I bet you we got probably anywhere from a pound and a half. To two pounds of beans that's ready to go ahead and pick already. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're back where we started at the sweet potatoes. We can go ahead and pull these uh, sweet potato slips, and I'll be hollering back at y'all in a minute. I'm gonna back y'all out for a good clear shot at the garden, right? All right. So. I'll holler at y'all in a minute, but just in case I don't come back, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Y'all be good. Thank you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.